All right, looking at the forecast and also Anwar looking at some of the trends in the restaurant industry. What is that? Mm, something environmentally well, friendly? Yes, absolutely, Michelle. Listen, if you order takeout uh, or perhaps you finish a meal with your family, you want to take some of that home. You know, the big issue in the industry is that the fact that we have the boxes that are, are not uh, compostable. So that is a real significant issue. Todd West is joining me. He's got a whole line of products. He's representing his company. Your company is called? World Centric. World Centric. So all of these containers here are compostable because these are not made from styrofoam or plastic. It's actually made from wheat straw in a combination of wheat straw, sugarcane, and bamboo. Isn't that something? So this, and, and I should point out, you can see maybe a little shiny coat. You're wondering, well, can I put, you know, maybe something with a, a gooey, runny, tasty sauce? I can put this entire thing in the green bin, correct? You absolutely can. It's That's what it's designed to do. Yeah. To go along with your organics and the food scraps, all can go into your organics com composting bin, and that's the best thing for it. It's the best way to get rid of it. So not the recycle bin, the compost, the green bin. It'll break down. Look over here. This is also cool because it goes beyond that. You know, uh, the big controversy about plastic. So these, and these are pretty sturdy, right? Uh, it feels like plastic, but it's not made from plastic. This is really interesting. It's actually made from corn. So any of the, the plastics like this, your clear plastics, are all made from a corn-based uh, resin that is fully compostable. So, and as we move on down here, you know, this is a different color. This is not fiber. This would be a... Uh, it's actually made from sugar cane. So sugar we cane. take byproducts of agriculture, sugar cane, wheat straw, and we turn it into papers like our sugar cane soup bowls. We also have some bamboo cold cups as well, all made from secondary sources. And let me ask you this. Um, you know, if somebody who owns a restaurant, they're going to say, okay, but how much more am I paying? If styrofoam is very cheap, and the reality is we have to shift that. Uh, what is the price difference, generally speaking? Generally speaking, you're 25 to 35 percent more, but the consumer is really demanding that the operators change, yeah. and that's what's driving this, yeah. and the boom in our business is the consumer is saying to the operator, look, we can't do styrofoams and plastics anymore. We have to do better, and that's what you get with our products. So, you know, and I think you're absolutely right. Consumers are willing to pay that extra yeah. amount because now, now it's really, it's a feel-good for everybody so the restaurateur is doing their part the consumer is doing their part by also you know uh, really supporting that local uh, entrepreneur that restaurateur I'm enjoying a meal and I don't have to feel guilty because this all goes now some may wonder though if I have you know a soup or chili in here though will it get flimsy on me these are designed as food service applications Period. so absolutely so if you've got a university a college a yeah. business anything that's going to serve food this is absolutely a great package for that. So this is amazing stuff. So these are some of the trends. And you know what, as a consumer, ask your favorite eatery, hey, I want you to get products that I can throw in the green bin because that's how we do the shift. That's something I talk about on my podcast about, you know, we have the power in terms of consumers. We can make huge corporations change the mindset. We need to demand it because it's better for the earth. Thank you so much, Todd. I appreciate that. Let's take a